go. Uh, I'm just gonna grab my um, my charger for my phone, and I'll be right back. So I'm not going to do this for a long period of time. What time are we at right now? 8.02. So I might spend an hour or an hour and a half um, working on the art piece. And then I will... Um, probably get off. I don't know how many of you live in America. Uh, is there anybody here watching currently that is living in America currently? It is causing tremendous anger and division and pain far greater than most people will ever understand, which is very dangerous for the USA, especially at this very tender time. There were several mail press the president today. Just minutes later, he said this. So, I don't know how many, of you, how many of you were watching the news and knew what was going on in, in the United States. How many of you know, knew what was going on, like, on Wednesday? So, literally almost seven days ago, come tomorrow. Does anybody else know, other than me, what happened? Based on the president's lies and the president's encouragement, they also beat at least one, uh, one other, uh, another one, another police officer to within inches of his own. Yeah. Dozens of officers. Yeah, it is. I'm watching supposedly police loving it, and I'm just. Yeah, with the Capitol building. Who wrap themselves in the flags. I mean, so that like. To beat a police officer. I live in so it wasn't just Canada. Right, I, and I don't know how many of you know, but Robin is American, and then, um, Kit is from Colorado, was born in Colorado, um, but basically, I'm watching all this new stuff unfold and stuff, and apparently... And hear me out. Apparently, the Trump supporters are already saying that there's going to be another, another one on the 17th. Do I condone what they're doing? Absolutely not. I think that was too much. But that's just my general opinion. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Like, I, I sat in front of a TV last week on Wednesday looking and watching all the images coming out of Washington and I was just like, oh my god. It, this is this is too much. There has to come a point where reality needs people need reality checks at this point. So, for those of you who have watched the previous stream, I, I'm t I was talking about what my government's doing in relation to COVID. Um, basically, we have been told that we have a stay-at-home order. So, basically, that starts, I thought that started tomorrow, but that starts Thursday. So literally, for me, I have to go out tomorrow so I can get my, uh, my, the last of the things I need done. I have to go and do, buy my, I have to go and get my, um, my things, so my things being cases for my figures, and I need uh, to go get the last of my figures that I have on order at Labyrinth tomorrow, and that's literally the last time I can go out for the next 28 days, because as of Thursday, we're, we're, we're done. And I don't mean to be like down, but my mental health, like my mental health is going to go nuts if I'm stuck inside the house. So.
didn't talk to him today. I know he said he did get a couple of emails from people that he uh, old IBM or said he hadn't talked to in a couple of years. <laughs> so some people So Massachusetts has made curfews? Jesus. I know people who live in Mass. I should ask and see how they are. I mean, to be fair, guys, the United States is an absolute shit show when it comes to COVID cases. 22 million. Like 22 million people have it. And I'm just like. Is anybody else having lagging issues with the stream? Or is it just me? Does anybody have any questions that they want answered today or uh, anything like that? Or how, how are you guys doing in general? I'm good.
guys have any questions at all? One thing I have noticed is quite strange. Most of the uh, people who watch me uh, stream haven't actually been here. Now, granted, it could be that a lot of them are doing homework. I know personally for me, if I was in college, I'd be still, I'd be swamped in assignments. And there would be no... Excuse for me, but I technically prefer working on school projects, to be honest, because I am just, it's boring. I am bored. Um, Robin wants me to be working on my life drawing, which I haven't done in a bit. There's that. <laughs> How have you guys found to school to be during COVID? Has it been difficult? I know I'd probably be having problems with uh, considering I it would be a little bit harder to use my accommodations in college while you're on line really Look at chicken having them straight A's. My God. You are of democracy ever in the world. And Donald Trump took that. And for his own of us can get that into what he called a fraud. And then he turned on his information ecosystem and he made millions and millions of Americans believe it. Okay, so if social you have social anxiety and being online is like the perfect thing for you. Congrats, beautiful. Being in school can make the anxiety worse. And then on all of a sudden you get online school and you're like, yes, I don't have to be around other people. I can actually study and be fine and not have to worry about my crippling anxiety that's causing me to have like problems with like Focusing, yeah. No, I can understand that. I don't have that to that scale of anxiety, but I have anxiety from stressors. But yeah, some forms of social anxiety are worse than others. Yes, hello, Mother Robin. Say hello to the children. Hello, children. Ah. Ha, I fucked you up. Oh, sorry, it's war. That's fine.
uh, Senator Murkowski from, from Alaska. Anderson and just a couple of them are ready to become independents and work with Joe Biden, who has put together really an outstanding cabinet of center-right people. If, if we can actually get a few principal Republicans to work with him, we can actually have a huge problem solve those caucus in the House and the Senate that will actually be able to get things done on infrastructure, health care, education. And so uh, I think there's huge potential, but for the country to thrive, that party, as it is currently constituted, must die. But it, it's a problem, because four years ago, when they were all running against Trump, you know, they all spoke about what he would do to conservatism, what he would do to the Republican Party. They saw the writing on the wall, and yet, once he beat them, and they wanted to maintain power, and as you pointed out, have their free parking space at the airport, uh, they went along with it. Yeah, I mean, again, I think what history will talk about is just um, uh, the supine nature of that party. Let, let's be honest, Anderson. The, the Republican Party has lost its way for a long time. Um, they just had a convention, the, uh, the, the, Demo the Republican convention before the election, where they had no platform. They said their platform is whatever their dear leader wants it to be. Of course, their dear leader just wanted to be whatever serves him. That's insane. How could a party do that? I mean, really, be honest, this party is actually, it, it really became a political brothel that rented itself out by the night to whoever could energize its base. That's really what they were doing. This is pretty, going party, pretty well. Then Trump. But in the case of Trump, he took over the whole brothel. That's pretty, pretty coming well. along really well. Okay, so come in here. That's pretty interesting stuff, though. Have I got donations set up? No, I don't. Um, I'm not exactly sure how to do that per se, and I should look into it, to be honest. Um, and stuff because, in all honesty, I currently don't have a job. Um, does anybody know how I can set up donations? Like, I haven't got a Patreon or anything. I'm curious, would you guys donate? Just out of curiosity? Now, like, one of the things that um, I'm 
looking at doing is things like commission, for example. Um, and stuff like that. Um, and doing like commission based stuff for people. Hello, MJ. So what would you guys donate for? Art money take gift. Yeah. I've done my fair share of paying for commissions and stuff. For my well being. Well, I'm getting EI. So it's not like I'm broke. I get paid um, every two weeks on Tuesday. But the problem is if I start doing commissions and stuff, um, I have to tell the government I'm getting money. I think which might cause problems just pencil and paper uh, not as good I'm decent um, I have one of my papers up here. Do I have one of my books? Um, I have one of my sketchbooks. Zach Baggins from Ghost Adventures is an example. There's a really good one of Kit. Another one. Did Alistair from Has Been? Natsu from Fairy Tale. Throne. Me and my Bill cosplay. Female kit. That kind of stuff. I have a lot of ones of kit typically when I draw. Most of my pictures are of kit. But 
yeah, that's kind of the example of what I draw and what I'm like drawing by hand. The n difference between drawing by hand and the computer um, is with the computer, you're able to resize everything and stuff, and it's easier to um, fit everything on the page and stuff typically um, in that case and stuff like that. So I, I prefer digital because um, it's easier to do the coloring, it's easier to do line work, it's cleaner and stuff like that. So that's kind of my thing. I prefer computer drawing than traditional. But yeah, that's kind of some of the stuff that I have. For example, what do you guys think? Oh my god, yeah, no, 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 no. I understand what you're like. I have a, a um, tablet here. Um, Webcom's supposed to be good, but that tablet is strictly based on uh, pressure sensitivity. Um, and I am really heavy in my hand. I've been told that by my teachers at college. Um, and stuff. So, for me, I need to have, um, for example, when I'm doing life drawing. So, one of the things about arts college that you guys should know is, um, you, at least at my college, you do something called life drawing. Life drawing is an important aspect to, um, animation and overall art design and design so basically what it entails is it requires you to uh, draw nude men and women now some high schools do offer this but not nearly as many as one would think um, you have to go to a special high school for it, uh, like an arts high school to do it. Um, and even then some don't, you can apply to life drawing classes. Um, as somebody who wants to go into animation, life drawing is a Im extremely important aspect to getting in to animation. Um, so um, as somebody who has some, um, doubts and some, um, feelings of, um, uh, fear, like myself, because I don't really like looking at human bodies, uh, specifically man, um, but that's just my preference, um, and stuff, and that, comes stems through trauma and stuff how i basically um got through it was i'm just like it's for art purposes it's not for any sort of inappropriate purposes they're here and being respectful to me i'm being respectful of them we have a understanding that kind of stuff so and some i have to say some of our mo life drawing models are really really super nice uh, you can have conversations with them you can laugh with them and stuff but when it's get time to work they they know what they're doing they've trained they've 
Uh, they're very expressive. Um, some actually, uh, one in particular, um, he would um, state kind of the action and set the scene for us, if you will, for what the action for the pose was going to be. So you could kind of put that emphasis and feeling into your drawing. And that was actually like extremely helpful for kind of expressive um, poses and expressive life drawing. And it is really, really fantastic um, and stuff like that. So um, I do recommend if you want to get into any sort of art, or design or animation uh, go to a school that is known for its arts program and make sure to check to see if that school has a um, life drawing program yeah no I know what you mean um, Gotcha. Like, literally, as somebody who had to do a lot of traditional artwork, well, in uh, college, I can confirm that I probably spent well over $2,000 on art supplies for my entire two-year semester. So, yeah. It is a, it's an expensive, expensive passion. One thing I did find out about myself, surprisingly, is um, out of everything, like uh, when I first started learning my painting, because I didn't do a lot of painting projects in high school, and we had to do a lot in um my camp at my campus um when so <laughs> paint mixing wasn't my strong suit and uh watercolor and acrylic um when i used them as a medium uh i would put too much paint on and stuff and one of my teachers looked at me and said you you put on paint really heavily if you want my suggestion you're you probably will enjoy painting with oil paints the most and that teacher would be correct in that statement when we did oil paints um i can safely say that yeah i much preferred oil paints in all honesty um because you do thick thin over thin over thick sorry thick over thin um which means you apply a thin layer of um paint first and then you put a thicker coat on after that and i can safely say that during that course i much preferred oil um and stuff Yeah, if you want, 
an honest opinion. When I first, like, I have, um, I have books that I had. I don't know if I have them now, but, um, I have pictures, um, and stuff. I don't know if I still have them, but I had, um, pictures of artwork that I had done even bef well before I went to art school and I didn't start really drawing as a form of therapy until really after grade five um and in the mindset I had I had a lot of really dark um dark things I was drawing for example um and stuff like that and kind of showing and representing the amount of pain I was in and stuff like that um and kind of my mindset um but I can safely say I never could draw nearly as good as I can draw now i practiced for a long time now um to get to the point i am at now it's not really easy to start out and all honesty and sometimes people are gonna say oh well um your art looks trash people are gonna say that people are gonna be assholes about it but Literally, you say, well, it's art to me. It doesn't have to be art to you, and that's perfectly fine. But what you do you do? You keep going, Sorry. and you keep practicing and practicing and practicing. One of the most important components, before you even start drawing things like animals, for example, is... Um, to draw humans um and i've been told that um in animation you see people animating animals for example or hu demi humans or things like that and to put in perspective what i've been told is originally you start out drawing humans and then once you um have that you then are able to um then start working on starting to add human figures kind of like furries um are furries are kind of that gap between in a way um in that sense and stuff like that so uh, basically demi humans and stuff so basically that's kind of how that balances Um, Crystal, I, I can show you, um, peach felt tips. So, I'm, um, I'm gonna do both, because my color. So. So, um, here you go. So, this is Prismacolor. This is artist grade colors. Um, you can find them at places like Michael's or any sort of high ranking art store. Um, Prismacolors are really good 
for the sheer fact that they um, come in a variety of different shades, um, values, and stuff. So they're really easy to start looking for the right color, um, specifically for drawings. If you're going to go felt tips, I suggest Prismacolor. Um, if you're also going to be doing uh, Pencil Crown, I also recommend Prismacolor as they have multiple values and shades and stuff for both their markers and their pencils. Uh, I use both. Um, these ones as well, the um, um, ADAXI, they, um, they also come in a variety of shades and colors, and um, I've seen people also use these ones particularly to do anime drawings as well. So um, either these ones or the Prisma colors both uh, work. Um, you can also buy the sets, which work out great. Um, you can also buy a set of the um, Prisma color uh, pencil crown, like pencils and stuff. Um, they're really high quality brand. We use them at Sheridan. Uh, color pencil is my go-to color for, new, for paper art. Yeah, pencil crown is good. Uh, Prisma color does go through. Uh, I don't know if I have any colored stuff in here to show you your perspective. I don't think I have color in here. Uh, to show life drawing, that's a life drawing. To put in perspective. Uh, to put in perspective, breaking down the components of a body into basic shapes. That's how you do that. Do I have color in here? This question. I don't think I do. No, I don't have color. Um, I don't have color here. Um, no, I don't have any of the colored ones up here, unfortunately. Uh, and stuff like that. But, yeah, um, the Prisma colors are good. I suggest them uh, for paper. Um, they're also good for shading and stuff. You can put marker over them and stuff. But, yeah, kind of like that. That's my suggestion, so. But, yeah. So, Gotcha was saying that, um, uh, donations could be a possibility. Like, if people are up for it, I don't mind doing donations.
Yeah, no, they, um, the Prisma colors are extremely expensive. Um, yeah, they're, they're really expensive because you're paying for artist grade products. That's why they're expensive. Yeah, no, Mr. Beast is, uh, taking it a little far. Like, to put it plainly, like, if I could, for example, get into Sheridan, um, they're not as expensive here in Canada, and basically I could pick up a couple whatever colors you needed, go in, pick them up, and if you wanted me to, I could send them out to you. Because I don't mind buying artist-grade stuff. But like I said, I can't get into school to buy any of that stuff, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, like, for donations, I probably could do a little bit more um, and stuff. Like, I wouldn't mind doing donations. But I don't know how many people would actually donate. If I were to do it. That's kind of why I haven't really done anything to that point for donations because I don't know if it would be worth it.
So far this is going pretty good. I don't know how many of you guys have seen before. But I have something like this, right? For example. Like, I have that for example. To put in perspective. I don't remember what it was called. So there's that, where's the illustrator file? to sit here. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I can do Photoshop. So here, for example, is that same animatic here. Now, if I bring in here, go here. Come on, Photoshop.
excuse me, while my Photoshop decides to open very slowly. But then again, there's a lot of frames to fill in. Yeah, there is a lot of stuff. There's a lot of files that it has to open. There we go. All right. And that is basically what I've got so far for that. I'm, you must be really into whatever you're into. No, I'm just standing here going, okay, so what do I have to interrupt her? That, that can um, kind of put in perspective my Photoshop skills and my animation skills.
it might have been exported on my other thing. Yeah, it is. Um, I know at one point I called. I called. I know at one point I got some sort of, you know, promotional balance transfer. It could have been the same time, and I, I didn't want to take advantage of the deal immediately. But I think I said, issue me checks, and I remember getting checks. But yeah. The deal with Canada Trust. And I paid off all the credit cards. And there's nothing. And I still have nothing ever paid on my own. But like, you've got things like this, for example, I, that I've completed for school. But, yeah. I don't even know what the balance is. I have no idea. I don't even know where my card is. I have my card. I just don't have any. That's have kind of the premise of what I can do, for example. This is weird. I put it on the corner of my desk. Could it be CIBC Visa? Yeah. Oh, I don't have a Visa. From. Oh, I don't have a Visa. Yeah, yeah, Visa. I don't. So I put on the corner of my desk when I'm talking to Linda or Nadia, who I do all my credit card stuff for, for CIBC, like my work work side, I, I might just ask them, hey, I got this letter from <laughs> So, <laughs> no, no, you policy. don't have to draw demons you for school. Um, basically, the reason why I drew Kit for that project, particular project, was we... We had to create a um, an environment um, in which our um, our so we had to simulate an environment. You had the choice of making whatever you wanted, um, but it was a three D model of an environment, a room, or um, an atmosphere. And I made um, that concept picture of Kit walking down the staircase of his home in hell. Um, for example, um, so that's what that was for. Um, I should have a completed look for that I don't know how to do it I don't know how to get the, the forms out um, oh it's on there I mean I have to look to see uh, it's on there I know there's like the acceptance form process yeah I know but I gotta figure out how to do it uh, it's on my I don't think I have a picture of it. Um, send, out a, give, send out another message. I know they're working from home. Well, I know you're talking to Amanda and Jackie on Thursday. <laughs> well, Jackie, we can we talk to. Uh, Vanessa, I could I can't do anything about because I would talk to her till the week after on Tuesday. Yeah. Um, but then we're going to be too deep in, and I would like the money for that. Oh no. But the problem is the Sun Life is asking for that the receipt to be attached. And I can't do that until we see if yeah, we've done that. Yeah, don't rush that. I mean we're still okay, but it's still surprised it takes that. Yeah, I know. Go here. Seven in. Oh 
My computer is moving so slow today. My problem is if it gets six hours sleep on this train. I won't sleep six hours. I'll sleep as many hours as I can get. Um. Unfortunate that way. I have to go down significantly. Um. So, as you guys can see here, so there's the design of it, right? Um, where is it? Um, here we go. So, so, there's, that's for my other project. Where is the other I don't know I don't think I recorded it um, no I don't think I could have recorded it um but uh yeah, it uh it looked good and stuff and I made the environment and stuff. But yeah. Yeah, that's kind of the perspective on that stuff. I'm curious how many of you guys um, watch Dream and know anything about the Dream SMP. Some of you got to know what it, what it is. It can't just be me. <laughs> right? I'm not. I'm not crazy.
so it's just me then. Oh. Oh, fantastic. I am crazy. Fantastic. Thank you. Now that I'm going to be home more and bored out of my mind, I might stream a bit more. But yeah, I think I might stream a bit more.
What time are we at now? 9.25. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to finish the arm and down to here. Uh, no, I'm going to end here. So I'm going to do the arm and then I'm going to end on this round here or even here. I won't do the sword yet, but I'll do the plating here and the rest of the arm here. And then call it a night um, and stuff. Thanks, guys. And by the way, guys, I did this all with a mouse. 
not a tablet or stylist or anything like that. Yeah, um, a lot of people don't like to do, and also a lot of people will do tablet. I'm like, because I'm too heavy in my hand, I can't. The only tablet I actually can physically use is an Apple iPad Pro on Adobe Freshgo. That's about it. And... For that, at least it has a screen. So I don't have to look at my actual computer screen. Unlike I do with the tablet I showed earlier. Which is like physically impossible to use. Because it just, you have to look at the screen and not your hand. London, thank you. Sub earned. Thank you. Um, London, I'll show it again. Um, seeing as I have it up, um, I'm not sure if you had seen my animatic for that I have up on my channel this is it here this is as far as I've gotten with it keep an eye on the time hmm? keep an eye on the time I know that would have been a reasonable time I added a little bit more to it. Before you head up to bed, can you please do the recycling so I have to throw that in the morning? Mm -hmm. And anything else? If you need help, let me know. I am on stream. Leave. Oh, but I want a kiss. Okay. But you've tried to I'm pick up my face. I was pinching you, but okay. But, yeah, so what I added so far is the zooming in on the poster um 
But yeah, so there's that. Um, but yeah, basically, um, I have that added on.
so I'm almost done the armor here. Once I am, then I'm heading off to bed. Because I gotta be up tomorrow morning early. I'm getting closer to finishing. done here just got one piece left to go and then I will be done for the night
well. No, just the bottom here. And then... There's a little bit of armor there. I guess I'll do that quick. Last piece. Alright guys, whoever's heading off, good night, sleep well. I'm going to be ending the stream in a few minutes. Can I help you? Can I help you? Did nobody help it? Did, it Did nobody love on you? Did nobody feed you? Did the girls go upstairs to go to bed? No, I'm still on the computer. I'm almost finished. Are you on with the children's? Yes. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. <laughs> As you can see, she is filling in a light gray now. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. Oh, she's gone and changed into the filler and back to the paintbrush. That's a wise move. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I want to go to Walmart and get more fabric. <laughs> no, 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 you missed it. I, I came over and I started commentating. This, <laughs> this is yes, what I happens heard. when I have... Uh, <laughs> the team is back together later. I need to take my meds and go to bed. Okay.
You want the ball? You want the ball? Then here's the ball. Can't you like the smaller ones better? Just filling in the last minor details that need but, uh, to be filled, and then I, it's time for me to head to bed once that's done. All right, guys. One last thing to do. 
let stream catch up to at least where I am currently. Um. Alright. Alright, guys. Stream's come to an end now. Uh, for the night. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be on tomorrow. Um, or not. I might be on Thursday. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what it looks like. I'll probably be streaming more often now that we're on a stay-at-home order and I have nothing else to do. Anyways... Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video or next stream. Have a good evening, guys. I have to reopen my... Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys later.